I am insane. Why do I say that? Because what I did this morning, okay? First thing, 4 a.m., I woke up. Six hours of sleep, okay? I did sit-ups, too. Okay, I know I'm fat, but you know what? I'm going the right direction. I did sit-ups, okay? Before breakfast. In fact, I didn't even eat breakfast because of intermittent fasting. I'm doing that. You know, about 4 a.m., having six hours of sleep. I'm doing it. I'm skipping breakfast. And, you know what else? I had a cold shower when I'm autistic. And when you have a cold shower when you're autistic, it actually hurts. And I didn't start lukewarm this time. I started freezing cold. It was so cold that when I got in the shower, as soon as the water hit me, hit my skin, I was shivering. As soon as it hit me, I was shivering. And then before I became even acclimated to it, before I even got used to the cold, I put in as cold as it could get, and it hurt. It, like, it felt like I was getting frostbite. That's how painful it was. And you know what? That's what I had to do to succeed. I'd say on a scale of 7 to 10, of the, like how painful it was, or sorry, a scale of 1 to 10, it was a 7, okay? Scale of 1 to 10, the pain was a 7, I'd rate it at. Now, why would I do that to myself? Why would anyone do this to myself? Well, you know what? Because I got toughened myself up. But because I did that, I was able to squeeze in two and a half hours of studying before work. Now, who's out there that gets up at 4 a.m. after six hours of sleep, takes a cold shower to the point where it hurts, skips breakfast, exercises, and studies for two and a half hours all before they so much as go to work and they're not at school. Who does that? Well, I'm going to be doing that. Okay? Why? Because I want to be the best me I can. And in order to, the thing is, in order to be great, you have to put yourself through a great hardship. If you want to be extraordinary, you have to go through extraordinary training. And I'm going to have to push, my, push myself. I'm going to have to put myself through hell if I want to put myself at the top of where I can be. If I want to push myself to my max, I've got to push myself to my max. I want to go, I have to put through, go through the most suffering to get the most benefits. It's not like I can just do a little bit here and there. No, I have to, I can't go max suffering right off the bat. I have to go a little bit more suffering each time. Okay? I have to learn to tolerate suffering. A little bit more and more suffering each time. And that's what I'm going to have to do. Because, you know what? I'm growing. And I'm proud of myself. I feel better about myself. Seeing these accomplishments. It's like, you know what? I wasn't able to do this before. Now I can do this. These are tangible to me. I can see these happening. Okay? Yeah. I can see these happening. It sucks, but I am helping my self-esteem. I'm doing things that other people aren't doing, things that people are su that are successful have done. And you know what? I squeezed in two and a half hours of studying in the morning before I had work. When was the last time I did that? A long time ago. I squeezed in two hours. But you know what? It wasn't really that hard. Yeah, I took a break in between, but... I was tired too, you know, and the thing is, I'm studying when I'm tired. I'm not going to study on this app, uh, Duolingo, I'm not going to study on it when I'm super awake, well I am that too, but I'm also going to study when I'm tired. Why? Because that's when you're really tested. That's when you're going to make mistakes, that's when you can learn. You learn from more from your mistakes than your successes, okay? And I'm going to make these mistakes when I'm tired, that way... I can learn how to function better when I'm not tired because you take someone who's learned to function when they're tired versus someone that's learned to function um, when they're not tired and then all of a sudden they get tired who's gonna be doing better because in the real world at jobs at jobs uh, in society we get tired and then our brain doesn't work as well so we have to train our brain to work well when we're tired. We have to train our brain to do this. And that's why I'm doing Duolingo when I'm tired. Because I need to train myself to work when I'm tired. And it sucks. But you know what? That's what I'm going to have to do. 
you you work out when you're tired okay when you when you can squeeze in a workout you do it when you're tired you just work out now you don't do it to the point where you're injured because that causes whole whole other problems a whole bunch of other problems but you know what you still work out if you are physically capable of working out you can't say you just have to push yourself you can't say oh it's okay I just don't feel like it no you have to keep going because you slip up that one day all of that progress out the window it's like you have my showers you know what every day so it's like you know what I don't feel like a cold shower but I make myself do it because I know from years of experiences with these certain habits if I slip up one day just one day all my progress is gone because I'm gonna stop doing it so I just put myself through that pain so that I could keep doing it and I can keep going and I can progress and I can be the best me I can ever be.